yo what is going on y'all we are back with another one man and in this one we'll be talking about something that's pretty interesting to say the least i'm not going to say that it's big because i mean obviously this is going to be something that has to be taken with a grain of salt so <laughs> that being said um richard is confirming that binance has rejected the omi token so i guess there's a way for regular people to submit a token and see if they can get it listed and they can pay a fee and, and all that like there is the whole thing they can submit it to binance and binance can decide what they're going to do with that token if they're going to put it in the running to be listed on binance or not it looks like um someone attempted this and they have the receipts for everything so we're going to be going through the receipts i'm going to be showing you everything and yeah but but it was declined now I will also point out that this guy has been making claims and saying things. I think he was talking about BitGit. He was one of the first people talking about BitGit. He was telling people what was going on with Bit, um, with um, BitForex. So he's been posting stuff. But I mean, anything when it comes down to VV, he posts something about it. So you post enough stuff, then something's bound to be true, right? So I mean, I don't know who this is. What's his affiliations? I would doubt that he's in any way affiliated with VV, obviously or Ecomi, but yeah, I don't know who the guy is. I don't think anyone knows. Like, let me know if you do know who he is, but he's just been making random calls, some true, I mean, you know, that that's what it is. So let's just dive into some of the things that's being said here. So yeah, and like, like I said, he said, it finally became official. So he was saying BitGet before it was officially said. Um, it finally became official. Now I will be able to continue with the giveaway of the Omi tokens that I had on BitGit. Remember, the next is Crypto.com and possibly Binance. So he's, he's confirming that Crypto.com is next. So at the point where VV releases Crypto.com next, maybe at that point we can validate maybe more of his claims or take him seriously because I don't I haven't heard that one before, Crypto.com. So if we actually get listed there, that, that would prove that he knows something he knows something from somewhere so yeah so this was one of his um initial tweets that i was seeing around then let's move on to another one here he had he he, he got the omi the vv and the binance right here and this one right here pick any time before listing um this is um binance futures so as you can see the dashboard he got a dashboard right here um and he he nominated he nominated the omi token right here so it says my nominations. Let me see if you all can see this. Yeah, you're good. Um, yeah, my nominations. He nominated the Omi token. And I think you have to, he had to actually pay to get this nominated on here. So there was a certain amount of fee that he had to pay to get it on here. And it looks like it was done. I mean, if this is legitimate, it looks like it's done. If this isn't doctored or anything of that sort, then it, it was done. Then he said, Binance Futures Next allows communities to participate in requesting token listings. First, you must nominate the token with an amount of $2,000, which will be reimbursed in a certain period. Binance will evaluate the nominated project for inclusion in their voting list. Although Binance lists a token um, rigor rigorously and impartially, we know that exchanges gauge the popularity of the token to list it on exchanges without requiring them to pay the fee. The OMI token nomination has already been paid and Binance is evaluating whether the OMI token is a legitimate or fraudulent project. If it is legitimate, it will be added to the voting list, and um, and there we will know if the project is really alive or dead. So, um, yeah, this this is what he did to, to get some validation in his way, I guess. So, yeah, as you can see, these this, this is some of the tokens that has been listed. This is some of the um, other projects going through this going through this process right now. Yeah, as you can see, once again, nomination under review. So he nominated a Comey and it's still under review. <clears throat> well, it was still under review at this point in time. Let's move on. Um, the Midas token has just been added on Binance Spot for free. For a token to be added, it must be among the top five voted. Obviously, being the first does not guarantee immediate listings, but they will be added. We will see if Omi token is added to the voting list. The nomination fee has already been paid. He once again repeats that the, the fee has been paid. Um, so yeah, there we have that. And this, this just got listed. So now moving on to some of his recent, his recent tweets. So, and yeah, I was actually tagged in this one. This is how I got put on to, to what he was talking about. Someone tagged me and said, let us spread the word. Let's go. 
So someone's been excited about um about this. So yeah, let's keep diving. He said his this is one of his latest tweets. This was made on the 17th. He said, I have bad news. Binance rejected the OMI token. I contacted support because they rejected the OMI token and told me that the token does not meet the minimum requirements that any token must have. For example, the OMI token does not have an updated roadmap that makes it susceptible to the use of information privileged. Since a few, since a few have access to symbolic news, the Binance team believes that the OMI token is higher risk than even meme token. I mean, this sounds like, I mean, I don't know if it's true or not. Like this, this is the thing. I don't know if it's true or not. It sounds like stuff people have been saying around the community for a while now, but yeah, it could just be, this could just be a whole big scheme to try to keep the price low or get it in at a better price. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the legitimacy of this guy. Um, the Binance team believes that the OMI token is higher risk than even meme token. They specify that the tokens selected by Binance meet all the basic criteria and that the OMI token has not complied with its old roadmap. They must update it and stop abusing information manipulations. That's weird. Like, stop abusing information. Like, I would like to see more proof of this. Like, I, I would like to see proof directly from Binance saying these things because that sounds kind of aggressive for an exchange. Like that sounds like we want you to stop abusing information and manipulate. Like, why would they care what they're doing? You're not getting listed on my platform. You don't, you don't, you don't fit the qualifications. That's pretty much it. That like, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all that there is to be said. If I have no dog in this fight, I don't care what you're doing with your audience. I don't care how big you scam your audience. You got nothing to do with Binance. So why would they care so much as to go in and say um, they not complied with their old roadmap? They must update it and stop abusing information and manipulations. It's like, that's a lot. That's saying a lot. Um, that sounds like they would have to be more so knowledgeable of what's going on. And I guess to do research to list things, yeah, but I don't know about that. But yeah, we'll see. Um, so as you can see, it said nomination rejected. Or maybe those were some of his choice words at the end there. But I would definitely like to see what they said. Like, he can show the fact that the nomination was rejected, but he can't show what was actually said to reject it. So this is the roadmap that they used, I guess. Initial coin offering, 15 brands secured, Ecomi Collect beta app, um, public release, in-app sales, augmented reality creator, gamification third party integration so this is i guess this is what they was they saw and yeah like patient hodler he asked you can provide the conversation with support here i am i'm sure that that's that's what i would like to see like if you if you're telling the truth then that should be something very easy to add right um i told y'all weeks ago this guy was full of shit but nobody believed me <laughs> so it looks like vault <laughs> vault is exposing the guy as well uh yeah i mean Hey, this this guy, who knows? I have good news. Binance accepted the OMI token. I contacted support because they accepted the OMI token and told me the token meets the minimum. So this guy just said the, the complete opposite and like basically trust me, bro. Like that's basically what this guy is doing, just saying trust me. And he's showing a few screenshots, um, which these screenshots could easily be manipulated. Like let's keep it 100. These could easily be manipulated. Um, yeah. He said, to clarify, this is the documentation that Binance has for the OMI token. Um, they evaluated it through the documentation published by the OMI token team. This is why they rejected it and returned the money. We paid to include the OMI token in the next futures innovation, innovation zone where the project and popularity are evaluated so the token is included for free. Futures next allows token tokens to enter Binance for free. Um, as for free as step with Midas. Personal opinion, if a project that launched in 2018 can't update its roadmap in 2024, it's a super red flag. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, this is what he's showing. Let's see. Issue date. Okay. 
I mean, the, he's not really showing proof of anything. I mean, he, he they're showing that, I guess, Midas got listed. Midas got listed on the 12th. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what the point of this. They won't update till regulations are are clear, which will be never. Um, yeah. So basically, this is what's going on right now. Let me know your opinions on this in the comment section down below. I mean, I, like I said, I said I say take it with a grain of salt. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's not true. Who knows? I don't. I mean, but this is the conversation that's being had. What I will say is, regardless of the truth or the legitimacy of this or not. I mean, take it with a grain of salt. We're going to be around to see what happens regardless. This is why I say it's important to not be over leveraged, to not be in a tough position, because then you don't have to care whether something's real or fake. If it goes to zero, don't care. If it goes up, we got bread. It's like win-win. But all if you're, all of your eggs are in this basket, I can see how every single thing that happens in this community is a, oh my God, what's going to happen next moment? Like for me, it's just not that anymore. And that's why I, I preach and campaign that other people make similar decisions to where it, it feels so great being able to see foolishness like this or potentially truth like this and to not have to care one way or another, but it's just entertainment to me. It's just interesting. Let me see if this pans out to be true. Let me see if it doesn't. Like it, it's a freeing feeling being able to, you know, really just look at something for what it is, you know, and, and to be able to wait it out and see what something truly is. Because at the end of the day, it don't matter what anybody says, what he says, what the truth is going to be revealed with time. So I got time. I'm here. I'm holding. I'm a 10 year holder, baby. I got time. So, yeah. That being said, that's my thoughts and opinions on it. Let me know what you all think. Do you think this guy can be trusted? Do you think this is legitimate or not? Let me know your thoughts. Um, drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.